on the phone. I'm trying to figure out how to mute everybody. Hmm. Want to mute yourselves? Would you mute yourself? Yeah. Would that be okay? Yeah. Kate, you've muted yourself. How are you? So I'm going to, <laughs> thank you. I'm going to, can you hear me now? Cool. Okay, we're going to start lying on your right side, please. Okay, so lying onto your side, we're going to start with spinal rotations. Just bend the knees, ankles under the back side. And bring your right, your underarm, so you should give your right side, your right arm underneath you and out in front. And place your left hand on top in a prayer like position. If you need something under your head, do so. But it's only for a short term, so you should be okay. Resting your head fully down. Rest your hands on top of each other. Make sure the hips are level and facing forward. We're going to take an inhale. As you inhale, bring your arm towards the ceiling. And then stay, and then exhale, coming all the way back as far as the hips allow you. So don't let the hips come back. Follow your hand with your eye lines. Inhale, coming back up to ceiling, and then exhale, coming all the way back down. Inhale to reach towards the ceiling. Reach out the fingers. Exhale, coming all the way back as far as your hips allow you. As I said, inhale, coming back to ceiling, and exhale, coming all the way back down. Again, reaching up towards the ceiling as you breathe into the nose. Exhale, coming all the way back. Inhale, coming up to ceiling. And exhale, coming down. Sometimes with this exercise, you might get a little flick in your lower back. It's not to be worried about. Inhale to reach. Exhale, coming back with your arms. Lengthen up out of the shoulder. Reaching. And then inhale to ceiling. Exhale, coming back. Give me two more. Inhale to reach towards the ceiling. Exhale, coming all the way behind you. Inhale back to ceiling and exhale, coming down. And last one, please. Inhale to ceiling. Exhale, reaching back. Inhale, coming back to ceiling. And exhale, coming all the way back down. From here, guys, coming up onto your right elbow and bring the knees slightly in front of the body. I want you to push into that elbow and lengthen up on the lower side of the nearest back. Okay, so nice strong underneath. We're going to keep the hips forward. We're going to inhale to lift that leg and then bring it back in line with your hips. Inhale to bring it forward. Exhale to bring it back. Good. Inhale forward, staying strong through that elbow. Exhale coming back. So don't let the side sink down. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale coming back. Activating the hips. Good. Inhale, bring that knee forward and back. And we're going to do three more. Breathing in as you come forward with the leg lifted. Exhale, coming back. Last two, breathe in. Exhale, coming back. Foot is nice and relaxed, no tension held in the foot of the ankle. And bringing it back. Rest the knee down on top of the other knee. From here, take an inhale, bring the knee slightly back. And on the exhale, coming up onto your hand, you're coming into a side plank position. We're going to inhale and reach up towards the ceiling, breathing in and exhaling. Looking at that hand, inhale, reaching up nice and long, exhaling. Inhale to reach, exhaling. Last one, inhale. And exhaling, slowly coming back down. Coming onto your front, go onto the four points, so your hands and your knees. Okay, we're gonna go for cat cow. So nice and relaxed throughout the spine. I don't want you, to, I want you to just kind of relax the legs. So kind of stick your bum away as much as you can. And then I want you to 
ever so slightly just tilt it a little bit so you have like a flat back almost okay so not tucking it too much just a nice flat back a little bit of tension through the abs here but not too much so draw the belly button in a little bit relaxing the feet take an inhale here eye line down with the mat and on the exhale you're going to tuck your pelvis in underneath you using your stomach muscles to draw it in underneath you and then slowly release the head down at the same time you're now looking at your leg your beautiful leg we're going to inhale to stay and exhale you're going to slowly bring your pelvis away and your head is going to come up and look out in front lengthening up through the neck and the chest open up that area draw the shoulder blades back inhale exhale and really tuck it in under that abdominal region with your pelvis use the abs to draw it under push into the mat good and strong and then relax your head down also no tension in the neck just looking left and right here relaxing out the muscles in the neck let the weight just hang I'm going to inhale here and then exhale slowly peeling your, your glutes away, your pelvis away and your head is coming up also, your chest is coming down towards the floor where your arms stay strong and long. Inhale and exhale really slowly tucking the pelvis in underneath you and bringing the high line down towards the knees. Really good as you exhale. Inhale, we'll go for two more please. Breathing in as you lengthen up, stretching out all the anterior things, so much chest, neck area. Inhale, and then we're going to exhale slowly. It's the last one of these. Push into the mat, guys. Inhale as you lengthen back up. And then just come back into your neutral position. Okay, from here, I want you to bring your right leg back sorry this is so much time to get in apologies admit okay so from here guys bring your right leg back and i want you to tuck the toe and from here i just want you to gently push the heel away and then bring it forward push the heel away and then bring it forward okay just give me another three then breathing in as you push away exhale forward Last two. Last one. You can still do your core work in here, guys, in this position, okay? Still supporting you. From here, guys, you're going to inhale, bring the heel away, keep the hands under the shoulders, and then on the exhale, we're going to gently try and ever so slightly tuck underneath us with our pelvis. So push the pubic bone forward to as far as it can go, not very far in this position. And then you're going to release the head down as you push really strongly into that mat, looking at your leg again. Okay? We're going to inhale as we lengthen, bringing the weight forward on your toes, leaning forward on your hand. If you need to punch your wrist or your fist, do if you're suffering with your wrist. And lengthen up out through the chest, open it up, looking up at the ceiling, and lengthening up to that right leg, hip area. As you inhale, stay. And then on the exhale, pushing that heel away, lengthening through the posterior chain of that back leg, and really pushing into the mat with your hands, and then pushing the spine towards the ceiling. Keeping that leg strong, the one that's behind, looking down at your body. Inhale as we lean forward. Just one more of these. Coming forward, resting your toes on the floor, the front part of your foot, lifting up out of your chest, looking up. Nice stretch along the stomach here. And then exhale, last one. Push into the mat with the hands, guys. And then inhale back to center. Bringing that leg down, and we're going to swap over. Left leg behind. And down if you want. So if you are suffering with any wrist pain, as I said, go on to your fist, okay? So here, guys, just pushing the heel away. And then bringing it forward onto the front part of your foot, nice and relaxed, okay? Inhale as you push the heel away. Exhale, coming forward. Good. Inhale, pushing away. Exhale, forward. Inhale, push away. Exhale, forward. Last, inhale. And then exhale. So on the next inhale, you're going to push the heel away. 
lengthen through the calf and the Achilles area. And then you're going to push into the mat with your hands. You're going to round the spine, pushing the hand down to the mat, trying to push that mid spine towards the ceiling, and then release your head down. Inhale as you come onto the front part of your foot as you did in the warm up, and lengthen if you want to come onto your wrist too. Lengthen up through the chest and open up that neck area. Inhale to come back on the heel. It's actually more comfortable on your fist, so if you want to try that. And then coming down with your, your head, looking down at your leg, push into the mat, lengthen up through the shoulder area. So draw the shoulder blades away, and then we're going forward as we breathe in. Breathe, 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 and then exhale to push away with that heel. Rounding that spine, push into the mat, bring the pubic bone slightly forward just to get a bit of activation on the hip flexor. And then last one, lengthening, 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 and then pushing back. And then release down. We're going to go on to our other side, guys. So I did my right side initially, so you should be on your left also. Hopefully. So bend the knees. And then rest hands on top of each other. Again, fingers should meet. If they're off, it means your shoulder underneath needs to be adjusted. So bring it right underneath the other shoulder. So your hands should meet equally, okay? They should mirror each other. From there, again, make sure the hips are facing forward together, that one hip isn't back. And we're just gonna warm the spine again on this side. We're gonna inhale as we reach our top hand towards the ceiling, keep the ponytail a bit annoying. And then exhale, reaching back. Keep that top hip forward, okay? So don't let it come back. And follow your ha hand with your eyes. Inhale, reaching back to the ceiling. Exhale, coming all the way back down. So as I said, the hips stay forward all the time throughout this movement. Inhale. Exhale, reaching back. Open the chest. Inhale. It's a great one to release stress. It's a really, really nice one. Inhale. Do breathe in, open the chest. Exhale to come down on towards the mat behind you. Inhale, coming back to the ceiling. And exhale, coming down. Last. Inhale, reach. Keep that hip forward. Exhale. Don't let it fall back with you. Don't worry about how far your arm gets. It's just about doing it right and coming all the way back in. And last one, big breath in through the nose, reaching up out of your shoulder. Exhale, reaching back. Inhale, back to ceiling. And exhale, coming all the way back in. And placing your hand down, help yourself up. From there, putting your elbow underneath your shoulder. Lengthen up through the waist, okay? So don't let that side sink down. Bring the knee slightly forward, okay? We're going to elevate that top leg. I didn't wear the waist, but sorry. Elevate that top leg. We're going to inhale and exhale to push the leg behind you, activating the glutes. So try not to push the chest forward. I still want you to stay strong here. So don't let the stomach push out. You're literally working from the hip socket, okay? So as I said, don't come forward. Spine stays where it is. And pushing back. Draw that belly button to spine. So as I said, I don't want to see the chest coming forward. Moving right from our forward and back from that hip socket, okay? Inhale to come forward, exhale to come back. I'm going to go for two more. One more. And then coming forward and resting that leg down. From there, guys, coming onto your bottom hand, this yourself will bring the knee slightly back and then assisting yourself back up. Make sure your hand is right under the shoulder and releasing that upper hand towards the ceiling. Follow that hand to the ceiling and staring at it throughout this exercise, breathing in and out. Inhale through the nose and out. Keeping that tension coming up out of the shoulders throughout. Nice long arm with the upper arm. Inhaling and exhaling and open the fingers. Get a good stretch in the hand area. Okay. Let's play the fingers. We're going to go for two more inhales and out. And last one, breathe in through the nose. And as you exhale, slowly coming down onto your bottom. Okay, we're going to do a couple on our backside here and then we're going to go on to our front. So inhaling nice and tall, I want you to pull against your shin. I want your knees hip distance apart. 
And as you pull against the shin, feel the chest opening. Feel that space opening. You're drawing the shoulder blades together. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades together, okay, towards the spine. Inhaling nice and tall. And as you exhale, I want you to round the belly area and drive the spine towards the, the back of the room. Bring your chin to your chin. Inhaling nice and tall. Again, draw the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, round the stomach area, round the spine area, and bring your chin down towards your chest. So you're looking at yourself. Inhale, nice and tall, your feet flat. And exhale, round and roll back. Keep the chin down. Good. Inhale, last two. Nice and tall, sitting up onto your sit bones, lengthen that spine. And then exhale, coming away. Last one. Inhale. And coming back up to seated. Release the arms. We're going to inhale. Do the same motion, same movement. But we know we're not holding ourselves, unless you need to place your hands on the side. Releasing that body. I want you to stay nice and long through the abdominal area, so don't let the roundness come in. But keep that space open from the ribs to help. We're reaching those hands. We're going to inhale, bring our hands up slightly, kind of in line with our chin area. And then exhale, coming down in line with our sternum. Okay. Inhale, coming up to meet the chin or the jawline. And then exhale, coming down. Inhale, reaching towards the jawline. Exhale, coming down. Breathe in as you reach, staying back. You're not moving forward, the body stays where it is. We're going for three more. Two, draw that belly button spine. One. Staying where you are, hands in a prayer like position. Inhale to stay, exhale to rotate to the left. Inhale back to center, exhale to the right. The hips forward. Inhale back to center. It's a very small movement. Exhale to the left. You only go as far as those hips away. Inhale. I want both bum cheeks on the ground evenly. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale and exhale. We've got two more guys. Last one this side. Exhale and last one to the right. Inhale to center, exhale coming forward, and then rounding over your legs and holding yourself. Keep your spine a little rest, rotate your lower back. Take a moment. And then we're going to come onto our front uh, again. Okay, so coming down onto your belly. Lying with your arms nice and long, okay? Reaching them away. You want them either shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Feet can, or your legs can position close together or far apart, whatever they do. We're going to inhale to stay, and then on the exhale, you're going to lift your arms and legs off the floor together, reactivating the glutes, activating the lower back. Anyone that's suffering with their lower back at the moment, it's already strengthening them and activate the muscles, get them firing up to be free to protect your lower back. It's an area that isn't activated enough, to be honest. And then when you're taking, when you're ready, take an inhale to stay and then exhale to lower down. Place your hands under your face and relax your head down. So if that is hurting your lower back, don't go as high on the lift. Or if you want to place your hands down by your side and help you up, help yourself up, assist yourself. Okay, we're going to go same again. My arms nice and long, legs nice and long. Tension through the legs, lifting the kneecaps off the floor before you even lift the legs. So the kneecaps are elevated. And by doing that, you need to tighten up your quad. Inhale to stay. Exhale, lifting the arms and the legs, squeezing those glutes, really activating the bum. Imagine you're trying to crack something between your cheeks. <laughs> so really activating those glutes, all right? By lying down on the floor, so open the back of the neck, okay? You want to visualize where your spine is at. Lengthen that spine, okay? We're going to inhale, bring our elbows down towards our sides. Exhale, push those hands away as if you're going to dive into a pull. Inhale, bring those elbows down. Exhale, push away. Keep the legs up, please. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, push away. Two more. 
Inhale, bring them down. If your back is sore, you can rest the legs down. Exhale, push away. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands down on top of each other and rest your head and your legs down. Relax your arms. <laughs> okay, from there, coming onto all fours for now. Tuck the toes. Bring the hands slightly out in front. Bring the left leg behind. And then bring the right leg to meet it. Nice long line for plank, five plank. We're gonna stay here for an inhale. And on the exhale, bring the bum towards the ceiling, pushing the heels down, and then inhale, coming back. And exhale, push the bum towards the ceiling. Nice long line with the leg, push the heels down, and then back into five plank. Big breath in. Exhale, push away back into plank. Big breath in. Exhale, really focusing on your breathing here, guys, because that's what's going to help you through. Inhale, big breath in. Push the heels down. Exhale, no bend in the knees. Two more. And as you come back into high plank, make sure you're nice and level. So you're not dropping the hips when you come back. Arms strong. Last one. Staying in the plank position for five, four, three, and then we're going to slowly come back down. You know, onto the floor for 10, 9, 8, bend in the elbows, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sorry about that. Okay, from here, guys, come to the end of your mat, tuck the toes, and sitting back onto your heels. And just resting here for a moment, pushing the heels down away from you, putting the weight. Of your body onto the hips. Your backside should be resting on your lower Achilles calf area. Okay. From here, I want you to slowly put the weight into your hands, pushing up through your legs, and walk your hands back. Slowly place your fingers under your toes, or fingers under your toes, and then pushing through the back of your legs, resting your head down. Go as far as you feel comfortable. All right. Keep the fingers under the toes. Slowly pushing into the back of the leg. Keep it in the lower hamstring, or hamstring, or over the hamstrings. <laughs> and then slowly coming back up to standing. From here, guys, you're going to rest your left leg in front and right leg behind to a lunge position for you. Bending that back leg. If you're suffering with your um, knee, sorry, you need to come for a second. Just uh, take a narrower stance. And just bringing that knee over your front ankle and keeping a slight bend in the back knee. And just do small up and down. Everybody else, I want a nice wide lunge. Okay, hands on your hips, lower down and coming back up. Okay, straightening that front leg, lower down. If you're struggling with balance, hold on to a wall if it's near you or a cabinet or something. Just don't fall. Lower and lifting, pushing the weight into that front foot. Okay, you're really feeling that full foot. In contact with the mat, toes are engaged, heel is pushing down, and you're really feeling the leg activation here. For two more, one more, and then we're going to go back into that lunge position and hold it here, okay? Reaching the arms out in a prayer like position again. We're going to inhale, exhale to rotate towards that front leg. Inhale, back to center, exhale, rotate. Back to center, keep the hips level. Rotate, center, rotate, for six, five, four, three, two, well done, last one, good, back to center, place your hand down, straighten that back leg, push the heel down. Really pushing that heel down in the back leg. Open up the that area, the Achilles, hamstring, calf area. And rest your hands down. From there, guys, leaning forward for a moment. And if you can, switch over. Place the other leg back. Other leg forward. And slowly come back up into your lunge position. Okay? Bringing that top, our front leg into a straight leg position. And then lowering back down. Okay? Slow and controlled. 
Breathing in on the down, exhaling. Activating the glute at the back. Make sure it's switched on. When you're running or whatever, this muscle, these glutes need to be active when that leg goes back. Triple extension is called, so really important. Goes through to three points, front, middle, behind. And these should be active. Okay, three, two, one. We're going to go back down and hold, releasing our arms. You need to rest your back knee down, do. Rotating to the other side. Rotating to the side of the front leg. The opposite side. Good. Breathing in and out. In and out. Halfway. For four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly place the hands down either side of the front foot and extend that back leg into a straight line. Okay, so pushing that heel down, supporting yourself with your hands, pushing down with that heel. A little bit of stretching going on in the Achilles today, which is great, and the calf. And then bring that leg back, walking your hands back into a plank position and holding, pushing the shoulder blades away, squeezing the glutes. If you're struggling, place the knees down and stay in that plank position, okay? Everybody else, stay up. Again, pushing the heels away. Bring that left knee down. Back up. Right knee down. Back up. And left. Up. And right. You're literally tipping it, not hitting it hard. Breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, both knees down, come into shell position. Shell stretch the wide of the knees, sitting back onto the heels. And resting your head down, take a moment though. Well done. We're not done. <laughs> so coming onto your elbows, please. And into a prayer like position with your hands again, elbows directly under your shoulders, and then make sure your knees are under your hips. Okay, hip distance apart, make sure you're balanced. We're going to lift the left leg, sole the foot open, so bring the toes down. We're going to bring that knee towards your other knee and then bring it back. So, when I say towards, I don't mean you bring it to meet your knee, as in touch your knee, just bring it in the line with your knee. Okay, so it stays in line with your hip. Parallel to the knee as you bring it down. Okay, for six more. Five, four, three. Well done. Two and one. Anyone suffering with their back? Pull the legs, sorry, and pulse. Everybody else, starts, everyone keep pulsing, sorry. Anyone suffering with their back? Again, don't jerk the lower back. Draw the belly button in. Stay strong to the stomach. Hold the leg there, sorry guys. Straighten that leg, lower and lift. So that, that up the, from the waist up does not move. All right, from the hip bones up. It's just literally coming from the hip. So that lower back should not be feeling this at all. Okay, for smaller with the reasons if it is. Two more, one more. Hold the leg out and line with your hip, pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold the leg out there. Bring the heels, toes towards the heel away and bring your weight back slightly on your other leg. Coming forward, pointing the toe. Bring the toes underneath. Coming forward with your body weight. Toes underneath you. And then holding, connecting the toes away. And release down. Come into shell stretch please here. Stretch out that lower back, please. After that, if you are feeling it in your lower back, it shouldn't be. And we're going to swap side when you're ready. Again, make sure your knees are right under the hips, elbows under the shoulders, hands prayer like position, and draw the belly button before you lift that other leg, toes down. We're going to lower that leg down and then bring it back up for 10, 9. 
nine, eight, seven, six, other. Open the soul of the foot, toes are down, kicking something I'm feeling. Last one. Hold it there, pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straighten that leg. Lower and lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pulsing for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Toes towards you, coming back with your weight of your body, and then forward. So you're bringing your hip right over your knee, the back leg, and then coming forward. And you're pointing that leg that's extended, pointing the toes, and then bringing them on. One more, and then on. Hold. Place that leg down. Come into a nice shell stretch, please. And relax your head down. If your arms are lifted off the mat, you're stretching out of your shoulders. And we'll be stretching across your back. Okay. From here, guys, back into our high plank. I know, sorry. But I'm not really. I just do it. <laughs> high plank. Nice and long, pushing the heels away again, please. We're going to hold this position, breathing into it. We're testing your endurance now, guys. Really important. Anything that you do, you need strength endurance. When our body's tired, we go back to old habits. This is what gives you the, the difference. For five, four, three, two, you then keep coming back in, back down. Onto your elbows again, or onto our sides after this, so give you a break from the front part. Okay, we're just doing one exercise on each leg here. So again, bring that leg into a bent position. Okay, open the sole of the foot. And we're going to extend the leg, and then bring it back, as if you're bringing your heel to your back side. Extend the leg, so the thigh area stays where it is. And you're literally just opening the angle of the back of the knee. Just think of the lower leg. Breathing in as you extend, back forward. Really good for the hamstring strength. Okay. One more. And extend and place it back down. We're going to go with the offside extend and bring that heel to your backside and then bring it away. Again, keeping the sole of the foot open and lengthened. Breathing in, exhaling. Inhale, exhale. So imagine there's a ball behind your knee and you're squeezing that ball to three, activate the hamstring. So try and Visualize with something there. Three more. Two. One. And lay it down. And just tuck the toes and sit back onto your heels. Lengthen the hands and the arms, reaching them away. And breathing. And then coming up. Onto your right side, please. And we're going to side planks. Okay. If you want to do them from the knees, that's fine. Okay, like so. Or you can go with the full side plank. Okay. If you're slipping at all, so bring your uh, top foot in front of your bottom foot. Okay. So when you're ready, we're going to go into full side plank. Three, two, one, and release. And breathing through. Inhaling, exhaling. Again, check in with your hips, make sure that they're level. Bring that hand out in front as you breathe in. Exhale, bring it back. Reaching forward, bring it back. Inhale, exhale. 
Good. Inhale. Halfway. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Placing it down. Bend the knees. We're going on to our hand here for side plank. Three, two, one, coming up. Make sure your knees are aligned with your hips before you lift. You can release your hand and place it on your hip. You're gonna lower other hip down, push back up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it, guys. And what I want you to do is just come onto your knees. And we're going to stretch out this side, sorry, half the side. So reaching away from the side you're on. Okay. Come on, going down. Inhale, exhale, reaching over. Inhale, and then exhale onto the other side. Okay. So again, you've got the choice, long line or bent knee position, okay? When you're ready, three, two, one, assist yourself up with your hand in front, make sure that everything is correct, and then release when you're happy, okay? Holding here, breathing, pushing up out of that shoulder socket, okay? We're gonna inhale, reach that hand forward, exhale, bring it back. Inhale, reaching forward, exhale back. Reaching forward, breathing in. Keep those hips level. Nothing else should move. All right, we're nearly there. Four, three, two. Anyone still from with the shoulders, by the way? You can bend your knees. One, less pressure. Slowly come back down. Bend the knees. Come onto our hand. When you're ready, support yourself with the other hand. Three, two, one, come up. Have a quick look and make sure that everything is level. Release once you're ready. I'm going to hold here and then when you're ready, place your hand on your hip if you need to. I'm going to lower and lift for 10. Nine. Slow and controlled. Eight. Just be mindful as one can say. When you're coming down, just protect your draw that belly button in. Make sure you don't twist your back. Forward. Four. Three, two, one. Slowly, slowly coming back. Onto your bones, please. We're nearly there. We're well over halfway. Yeah. Okay. So lying onto your back. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, rolling your spine into imprint position. So for anyone that's new and still not okay with that, basically you're bringing your pubic bone higher than your hip bone. All right. And then I want you to lock that lower back down. Okay. Activate the ribs. So just tap yourself on the stomach here. As if someone's going to punch you, automatically what you do is you brace yourself. There should be some of that going on in the stomach. Okay. From there, bring one leg to tabletop and then bring the other leg to meet it. Don't recommend these shorts for Pilates, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Bring your hands behind your head. Support the, the head body. We're going to inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to come up and rotate towards our left leg. Inhale, rest the head down as you come down. Center. Exhale, up and rotate. Inhale to come down. Exhale to rotate. Inhale to lower. Exhale, rotate. Good. Halfway. So you are resting the head down each time you come back into center. Take the weight off your neck. Last two. The last one. Okay, we're going to stick with this movement. I'm going to challenge you. So you're going to extend the right leg and rotate to the left. Bring the other knee closer if you're struggling. Inhale, coming forward. So that bent knee, if you're struggling, you can bring it closer to your body. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, forward. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, forward. Exhale, rotate. Good. Okay. 
Here you there with these. <laughs> last two. Last one. Bring it back to center, staying up in your ab prep, please, in tabletop position. We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, you're going to curl the abdominal a little bit more to so bring your body towards your knees, but you're going to bring your knees towards your body. Okay? And then inhale as you bring the legs away, bring the body down to the floor. Exhale, coming up, bringing your knees close to your face and your face close to your knees, lifting the lower part of your spine. And then inhale, coming down. This is a lovely one. Exhale. Inhale, open up that space in the stomach. Exhale, coming close together. Inhale. You'll be feeling your abs right now. Inhale, two to go. Exhale, give the legs a break after this. One more. Rest your head down, place your hands down and bring one leg down and then bring the other leg down. Okay, very good. Hands behind the head for now. We're going to take an inhale and on the exhale, I want you to slowly just bring in the body, kind of elevate it off the floor without much effort. Okay. And elbows are open and back. So you're resting your head fully into your hands. Your stomach isn't doing too much work here. All right. Draw the belly button to the spine. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, I want you to just shimmy slightly to one side. So you're as if you're washing the floor with your back <laughs> or your, um, yeah. So you're basically bringing the elbow down towards the opposite side of, or towards the side of your body as if you're trying to bring your elbow down to meet your hip. Then you're going to roll back into center. So you're literally sweeping the floor with your back. Exhale, go into the other side. But your head and upper body does not change position, okay? Except going side to side. It doesn't go forward or back. So you're just squeezing each side and exhale. So small movement from left and right. Center as you inhale. Exhale, going to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to right. Make sure your head is fully rested into your hands. Otherwise, you're going to start having a sore neck. It gives the head to your hands. We've got two more after this one. One more. Feel this kind of activating the opening. And last one. Well done. Release your head down for now. Reaching your palms up towards the ceiling, palms facing away. We're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, we're going to come up with our upper bodies and reaching our arms long. Okay. From here, bring your feet closer to your back side, sorry, and you're going to reach towards your left heel. Back to center as you inhale, reach towards your right. And left. Breathing in center, exhale. Rotating. Left and right for four, three, two, and one. Support your head coming down. Relax your body down to the floor. Bring your hands down by your side. Bring the soles of the feet together. Okay. So your big toe, uh, the side of your foot, the inner foot, okay, should all be from meat. And the other part of your foot, the outer part of the foot is resting on the floor. Knees are opening. Okay. Inhale, exhale, coming up off the floor into a bridge position, resting on your lower shoulder blades, okay? We're going to stay here, breathing into it, pushing up through the hips, opening up the hip flexor area. Rest your hands down, obviously, sorry. <laughs> and breathing into it. We're going to slowly, slowly bring our legs together. As if again, we're going to squeeze the ball between our legs, but we're not fully meeting with our knees, all right? Once you get to kind of knee, our hip is apart, we're going to inhale and bring them apart again. What's great about this is that the feet are kind of activating here, so they're squeezing against each other, they're meeting resistance against each other, so you're getting that activation right without actually having the ball between your legs. Automatically, you should feel it on the inner part of your bum. Inhale, hips do not change, so if you want to place your hands on your hips here, exhale. Squeezing the legs as if they're going to squeeze together. Again, once they come to the hip distance apart, inhale to open up those legs. Exhale. 
breathing. We're going to go for one more. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure the hips don't drop, guys. Inhale, bring them back to the way we started. Wide. And then exhale, rolling your vertebrae down. One. And then bring your knees into your chest. Okay, oops, the seat is seat. I want you to place your elbows onto the floor. And I want you to push through the elbows and open up the front part of your body and also lengthen the spine. Okay, so we don't want the spine sinking down towards the mat. We want to keep that active. Feet your hip distance apart, okay? Here, we're going to bring our right knee into a tabletop position. I want you to visualize as a pen sticking out of your knee. We're going to go for circles. So you're going to bring the knee towards you, away from you, so outward, down away, and then back around. So again, I visualize as a pen sticking out of your knee, and you're drawing a lovely circle on the ceiling. Imagine this. You can also imagine everything else that's working. So you want to stay strong to the core. You want to lengthen the spine. You want your neck in the correct position. You want to open up that chest. So we're really pushing those elbows into the mat to support you and keep everything active while the belly button down. Breathing. Give me two more this way. One more. We're going to fold it here and go the opposite way in towards your other leg, down away, and then open it up back around. You want to go a little bit wider with that opening. You want to bring the knee right out. Really open in around the upper area, the inner hip socket. Okay, fine. Be mindful. If, if there's too much movement going on, just go smaller. Hit the circle. If your neck is in, in trouble here, guys, press your head down. Okay, and you can still do this. One more. Good. Lengthen that leg, please. Again, just check in with yourself. Make sure you're up strong. Put a lower lift. Pretend, just go as high as the other knee, because I think generally if you go any higher, the pelvis starts to tuck, and that's where you hurt the foot. Okay, so no brownie points for going higher, just as higher as the knee point. Three, two, one. Bend the leg, just lie down for a moment, bring that knee into your chest, and stretch out the other leg. Bring that knee to your opposite shoulder. Holding, relaxing. Feel that in your back side. And then placing that foot down. Place both feet down to support yourself getting up. Back onto your elbows, sorry guys. And then extending the opposite leg into a tabletop position. Again, be aware of what's happening in the torso region. So again, hands taken out of the knee, opening up that leg. Down away from you and a back around. Okay, so just think from the thigh area what's happening. Lower leg is just up there for the right. All right. Breathing in for half a circle and exhaling for half a circle. You might feel a little bit more activity going on in this hip or the other hip. I don't know, whatever. Mine is definitely my left. Might be a little bit more clicking going on. A little bit more tightness there. A really good one to really make that point. Okay. And hold here, we're going the opposite way. Down around. And as I said, on the other one, if you want to, when you get to that outward movement, if you want to open up a little bit more, just be mindful of your lower back. Your time. Don't go big with the movements if you're new to this. Nice and small. Two. Last one. Okay. Lengthen that leg, point the toes, and then lower and lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So the other leg isn't falling out, that in line with your hip. Last one. Place that leg down, slowly lie onto your back and bring that knee into your chest. Well done. And then bring that knee to your opposite shoulder. Okay. 
stopping and breathing. Feel again that in your back thighs area, hip area. Okay, and lengthen that other leg. From here, I want you to take a nice long line with your whole body. So reaching your hands and your feet in the opposite direction. So going nice and long. Reaching, 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 tension through the legs and tension through the arms, okay? So if you're trying to tear the middle part of your body, not correct, okay? Nice big breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to push the ribs down as if you're trying to roll into imprint, bring your pubic bone up towards the ceiling as if you're trying to compress this area, okay? Inhale as you open that area, pushing onto your shoulder blades, pushing the center part of your stomach, you're going to up towards the ceiling. Lifting the ribs, okay, and then exhale, rolling into imprint. But you're obviously not meeting the mat, okay, unless you're accepting the flat, that's fine. Inhale, reaching the middle part of your torso, your rib cage up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, exhale, drawing it down, activate the stomach. Point the toes. Bring the toes towards you now. I'm going to inhale here, really locking out those knees. All right, a little tension through the glutes, draw the belly button down, and on the exhale, we're reaching the hands towards the ceiling, we're coming up into seated position, we're reaching forward. Aim for the feet or whatever, the knees, the shins, whatever feels comfortable to you, holding this position, please. Inhaling nice and tall, exhaling, rounding and rolling back. Slowly, slowly. You shouldn't be on the floor yet. You shouldn't be on the floor yet. But now it's okay. And relax down, reaching nice and long. Inhale, exhale, coming up. And rounding over your legs, reaching forward. Inhale, stay. Exhale, coming up. Rounding and rolling back. Pull that belly button down. Slowly, slowly for three, two, one. Coming down to the mat. Inhale and exhale, coming up. Reaching feet down as you come up, reaching over your legs. You should be getting a little bit more warmed up each time you come up. Just reach towards your toes. It should be getting a little bit easier. Back to the legs are starting to lengthen a little bit. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, round the abdominals again. And we're going to go down for 10, 9, 8, 7. Really bring the toes towards you. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, come down, inhale, exhale, reaching over the leg. Inhale, up nice and tall, exhale, round and roll. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep moving, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, last one. Exhale, coming up nice and Sitting up and reaching, holding the feet. Sitting up nice and tall. We're done with that one, but we're not done. Inhale, exhale, round and roll. Coming back about halfway. I want you to hold this position. I want you to interlock your fingers and open the hands towards you. I want you to inhale. Reach the hands just in line with your eyes. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in. Okay, last one. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bend the legs. Round over your knees. Hook yourself. Rest your head on your knees. Okay, guys, last one, and then we're done. Okay, just getting up nice and tall, as we were initially. And I want you to hold your shin. We're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, bring your left foot off the mat. Try and stay just off the sit bones, just slightly behind the sit bones. When you're ready, we're going to bring the other leg, meet it. Okay, you need to place your hands down, do so, otherwise release out in front. Staying here, if you need to place them just softly at the back of the legs, you can do that also. And just pulling yourself up nice and tall. It's a good idea also if you need to do that. If you're finding it difficult. 
stay nice and long, so it's fine. And release the hands a little bit. Inhale, go wide with the arms. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, wide with the arms. Exhale, forward. Breathe in. Last exercise, guys. Feet up. Inhale. Exhale. Really breathing into that expansion as you inhale. Arms go long and wide. Two more. One more. Kick down. Sitting up. Rounding over your legs. Hugging yourself. Loving yourself. Say well done. Great class. Good job. Another one under the belt. Fair play to you all for showing. Okay, guys. So from here, we're going to come onto our front. Let's do a little bit of stretching. Okay, we do a lot of ab work, though. We'll just opening, we'll open up that area. So lying onto your stomach. Actually, if you're, if you're pregnant also, <laughs> it might be quite difficult. I'll show you an alternative. So lying flat onto your stomach for now. Elbows are down, feet down, hands down. Inhale to stay, exhale, just pushing up through the hands. Actually, bring them forward more. Bring them kind of right forward through your elbows or in line with your shoulders. Pushing up through your hands and your arms, putting weight into your hands, take the pressure off your back. I'm going to stay here for an inhale and then slowly feeling your, your front part, so your torso down onto the mat. Chest comes down slowly. Inhale as we lift up. Pushing into the mat, exhale to come down. If you're pregnant, you can come into a kneeling position and just literally push the hips forward, open up the, bring the elbows back and then come forward like so. Inhale, bring the elbows back, hips forward and then coming back. Give me one more on the front please guys. Hands forward, pushing up, breathing in. And then coming down onto the mat. From here, guys, come in, tuck your toes and come into downward dog position, please. Bring the feet or the heels down, and I want you to march the legs out. Okay? One knee forward, other knee long. Marching right and left, left and right. Breathing. Slowly come onto your knees. From here, bring your left leg forward, right leg back, and slightly leaning onto that front leg. Knees slightly coming forward, meeting the toe area. And then I want you to release the arm of the back leg. Nice long line, squeeze the glute. Tuck the pelvis if you want to feel a deeper stretch. Holding. And slowly come out of it. Walk over. Right leg forward, left leg back, and leaning forward on that leg. And then releasing that other arm. Don't forget about your breathing. Find parties throughout the day now. Good way to start your day. You're starting to get stressed. A couple of those deep breaths. Coming out of that slowly, guys. Coming onto your feet. So you're going to tuck your toes and come onto your heels. Okay, sorry. Toes and rest back if you can. Then we're going to lovely stretch along the soles of the feet. I want you to bring your hands out in front. We're going to inhale as we go wide. Exhale, coming back. If your, if your feet are too sore, release them down. Inhale to go wide. And exhale to come back. Inhale to go wide. Exhale to come back. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your right arm over. Push it down. Flop over. Left arm over. The elbow down. Take your hands on your shoulders and just do 360. Arm, one way, and the other way, off the way. There's something going on here. And then bring your palms 
facing you, hands out, reaching nice and long, arms over the head as you breathe in, and exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the other side. Back to center, and back to the other side. You're going to come over and unmute you all. Hopefully, it's left. Okay, that was great.